Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install Raspbian XP or Raspbian 95, depending on which you like more, on your Raspberry Pi. This is a skinned version of Raspbian Buster, making it look like Windows 95 or Windows XP, and even has Box86 already installed. If you aren't familiar with Box86, it's an emulator allowing you to play x86 based games on your Raspberry Pi. But before you get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now, let's get started. First of all, you'll have to download the ISO file containing the OS by clicking on the first link in the description below. This is a Google Drive file, so you'll have to sign in. Click download and download again. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher, in my case the Balena Etcher flasher, by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, you'll have to extract the image. You can either use WinRAR or 7-Zip to do this. Now that you've done that, just open up the flasher and select the ISO file as well as the micro SD card that you'll be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 32GB one. And click flash. This can take quite a while since it's a self-expanding 8GB file. Note that you'll need some sort of active cooling for your Raspberry Pi, since Raspbian XP and Raspbian 95 are already overclocked to 2GHz. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the micro SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to expand and boot. As you can see, it'll boot right into the desktop for us. However, you might have noticed that there's no password, so I'm quickly going to go ahead and show you how to set up a password. In order to do that, open up the terminal by going to the start menu and type sudo passwd. Then type in your new password and retype it. Now you've successfully secured your Pi with a password. As of now, you can start using the desktop. If you want to use Box86, you'll need to update it first by double clicking on the little update icon. It'll now start updating for us. Then you'll need to download a Box86 based game like the Cursed Castle for example, but make sure to download the Linux Ubuntu version. Once you've done that, extract the file, double click it and choose the runner. If you've done everything correctly, you should be launched into the game. But apart from that, that'll be it for today. I hope I helped you out and you enjoyed the video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.